Hi, I'm Domenico Ruggiero, and welcome to Homeschool Connections. My name is Domenico Ruggiero, and I am a former NASA engineer. I'm here at the Kennedy Space Center's Rocket Garden, where I'm happy to tell you about Computer Programming 101 and my second course, Space Flight Operations and Related Sciences, better known as SOARS. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. In the Space Flight Operations and Related Sciences course, we not only learn about the different individual systems of a real spacecraft, but we actually get to fly a spacecraft using an orbiter space flight simulator. We're go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Four, three, two, one, booster ignition and liftoff of Endeavor, completing Kibo and fulfilling Japan's hope for an out-of-this-world space laboratory. Houston, Endeavor, roll program. Roger, roll, Endeavor. This is Mission Control Houston. Endeavor's roll maneuver is being completed. It's now going into a head-down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Flying at 400 miles per hour, one mile in altitude, and seven miles downrange already from the Kennedy Space Center. In the computer environment, there are no aliens. There are no laser beams. It's real space flight operations. With the shuttles or other space vehicles that you fly in the orbiter, in the simulator, you can actually dock with the space station. Contact. Did we have capture and we'll let you know what the boating lights do. They're still on steady. Roger. Using external O2. Hatch open. External cooling online. Not only do we learn about space flight though, we learn about communications. There's a heavy segment of the course related to communications, with the students op actually able to decode digital messages like a satellite uh, image would be sent down to the Earth. We have the students doing that as well. That's also a, a similar to how a space probe on Mars would beam back data like images and other information back to the Earth. So communications plays a big role in this. We learn about Earth science. We learn about astronomy. The key thing is, this is a space-related course, as the name suggests, and we certainly want to invoke the kids to come aboard and do as much hands-on, real hands-on science as possible. So please join me for space flight operations and related sciences. And with a Computer Programming 101 course, we learn the fundamentals of computer programming using the Python computer language. Python is a very easy language to learn, very easy to read, very easy to code using some free tools that are available online. In the course, we, turn, we learn the fundamentals of programming. The fundamentals are, are presented in a manner that is analogous to the use of Lego blocks. Legos by themselves are small pieces of plastic with different shapes and different colors. But when you put them together in a certain fashion, they can become something much more than just the sum of their individual parts. The same is true with computer programming. When you learn the fundamentals of variables and the, and the use of the tools, if, then, and else logic conditions and loops, you start to learn all the different fundamental pieces that, when put together in a certain fashion, can become a spectacular program. Why learn computer programming? Well, computers are the future. They're all around us even now in today's society. 
You can find it in your cars, your phone, your microwave, throughout many of the home app appliances that you can even find today. And you can even find it on a Mars rover. This is the Curiosity uh, Mars Lander. It's a robotic device that runs a lot of programs because communications to the Earth take about 40 minutes one way. So you have to have autonomous robots be able to run programs to do critical science. So the future of computers is all around us. And whether you want to learn just some of the basic fundamentals of how to make your computer do some of the, the things that you need it to do to help you with a task, your own personal productivity, or whether or not you want to become a, a professional programmer for a big company or even for NASA to help explore foreign planets, Computer Programming 101 is the course for you.